Hi, I am Anuj Modi, Assistant Professor, Adina Institute of Pharmaceutical Science, Sagar, Madhya Pradesh, India, with an interesting and learning episode of B Pharma on important unit of marine pharmacognosy, that is herbs as a healthy food, which is a very important unit of the section pharmacognosy B form 6 semester, which is prepared by me and Dr. Vimal Kumar, Professor and Head, Department of Phytopharmaceuticals and Natural Products, Institute of Pharmacy, Nirma University, Ahmedabad, Gujarat, India. Let us start our episode while taking a look at what we are going to learn today. Module 1 Introduction of Herbs as a Healthy Food, Module 2 Nutraceutical versus Other Terminologies, Module 3 Regulation of Nutraceuticals, Module 4 Classification of Nutraceuticals, Module 5 Herbs commonly used in Nutraceuticals, Module 6 Future Prospects of Nutraceuticals, Module 1 Introduction to Herbs as a Healthy Food, The Quality of Life in Terms of Income, Spending and Lifestyle has improved with economic development. However, it has also thrown up a major challenge in the form of lifestyle disease. The first victim of this lifestyle change has been food habits. Consumption of junk food lead to a number of disease related to nutraceutical deficiencies. Consumers are deeply concerned about their health care due to the risk of toxicity or adverse effects of drugs. They are frustrated with the expensive high tech disease treatment approach predominant in modern medicine. So, nowadays consumers are turning massively towards food supplements to improve health where pharmaceutical fails. Fresh herbs not only add flavors without calories, they also serves up health benefits as healing foods. We all use herbal parts in our daily lives one way or the other way, whether for their rich flavor or for their healing power or in lovely recipes as food. Herbal benefits are many be it for the religious reason or to spice up your taste buds or as a home remedy for ailments like cold or sore throats. Herbs are handy for each needs. This resulted in a worldwide nutraceutical revolution. The idea in this concept goes back 3000 years ago. Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine, stated that let food be thai medicine and medicine be thai food. The word nutraceutical is coined from the words nutrition and pharmaceuticals in 1989 by Stephen L. D. Fallis. Nutraceuticals are products derived from food or part of a food that are purported to provide extra health benefits in addition to basic nutrition value found in foods. Depending upon the jurisdiction, products may be claimed to prevent chronic disease, improve health, delay the aging process or support the structure or function of the body. The term nutraceutical is applied to the products that are ranges from isolated nutrients, dietary supplements and herbal products, specific diets and processed foods such as cereals, soups and beverages etc. Advantages of nutraceuticals, avoid the side effect, may increases the health beneficial effect, may also have naturally dietary supplement, so that do not have unpleasant side effects may easily be available and economically affordable. Disadvantage of nutraceuticals, no regulatory definition, lack of quality control and regulation 
as per pharmaceuticals. Biology of nutrients is lower. Module 2 Nutraceutical versus other terminologies. There is a lot of confusion regarding the terminologies like nutraceuticals, functional food, dietary supplement, phytochemicals, etc. There seems to be a thin dividing line in their interchangeable use by different people on different occasion. Hence, these terms needed to be defined in order to gain better understanding of nutraceuticals. We will explain each terminology one by one. Pharmaceuticals. Pharmaceuticals may be considered as a drug used mainly to treat the disease, while nutraceuticals are those that are intended to prevent disease. Within European medicinal law, a nutraceutical can be defined as a medicine for two reasons. It can be used for the prevention, treatment or cure of a disease in human beings or it is administered with a view to restoring, correcting or modifying physiological function in human beings. Both pharmaceuticals and nutraceuticals can cure and prevent disease, but only pharmaceuticals are subjected to an approval process prior to the marketing which demonstrate safety and efficacy for its intended use. Now second terminology that is functional food. When food is being cooked or prepared using scientific intelligence with or without knowledge of how or why it is being used, the food is called functional food. Thus functional food provides the body with the required amount of vitamins, fat, proteins, carbohydrate, etc. needed for its healthy survival. When functional food aid in the prevention or treatment of disease or disorder other than anemia, it is called nutraceutical. Third, dietary supplements. According to the Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act, dietary supplements are product intended to supplement the diet that contain one or more of the following dietary ingredients, a vitamin, a mineral, herbs, a amino acid, a dietary substance for use by men to supplement the diet by increasing the total dietary intake or a concentrated metabolites, constituents, extract or combination of these ingredients. It may also be taken in the form of pills, capsule, tablets or liquid form. It is not represented for use as a conventional food or as the sole item of diet. It is labeled as dietary supplements. Nutraceutical differ from the dietary supplement in the following aspect. Dietary supplements are not intended to treat or cure a disease, where nutraceutical more emphasize the expected result of these products such as prevention or treatment of the disease. Module 3 Regulation of Nutraceuticals A ray of cure preferences in the mind of common patient revolves around nutraceutical because of their false perception that all natural medicines are good. FDA regulates nutraceuticals in the same way they regulate all other food. That is the safety of the ingredient must be assured in advance and stated all claims must be truthful and non-misleading. Nutraceuticals are treated differently in different jurisdictions. Canada, under Canadian law, a nutraceutical can be either be marketed as a food or as a drug. The term nutraceuticals and functional foods have no legal distinctions. In United States, the term nutraceutical has no meaning in US law. Depending on its ingredient, and the claim 
with which it is marketed. A product is regulated as a drug, a dietary supplement, food ingredient or food. While in India, Nutritional Labeling and Education Act of 1990 defines how food is labeled, including nutrition labeling in accordance with definition established by FDA. Food Safety and Standard Authority of India have prepared the rules and frame standards to regulate nutraceuticals for implementation of Food Safety and Security Act 2006. Act includes following provisions. First, Act addresses nutraceutical, functional foods, dietary supplements and need to regulate this product such that anyone cannot manufacture, sell or distribute or import these products. Second, GMP must be followed during the manufacturing of such products. Third, nutraceutical products do not claim to cure or mitigate any specific disease, disorder or condition. They can claim to provide health benefits or help to prevent the occurrence of disease. Fourth, nutraceuticals or dietary supplement must be formulated in the form of powders, granules, tablet, capsule, liquid, jellies and other doses form, but not parenterals and are meant for oral administration. Fifth, nutraceuticals. Nutraceuticals should not include a narcotic drug or a psychotropic substance as defined in the Narcotic Drug and Psychotropic Substance Act 1985 and substances listed in Schedule E and E1 of D and C Act 1945. 6. Act includes the draft guidelines. There may be provision of testing and tracing the origin of food products right back up to firm label. Benefits of this regulation? It allows greater legal security and more predictable environment. It supports innovation, prevents unfair competition from manufacturer using false or misleading claims. Dear friends, up to till now, you have gained a complete idea about herbs as a healthy food that is nutraceuticals, nutraceutical versus other terminologies and its regulatory norms. If you have missed any of the module or content, you may log on to our website www.cec.nic.in to download videos, FAQs, LOR and other content, so that you can be remain update with this chapter. Module 4 Classification of Nutraceuticals Nutraceutical can be classified as follows. First, on the basis of their natural source. Second, on the basis of their pharmacological effects. Third, on the basis of their chemical constituent. We will study each one by one. First, on the basis of natural source, it can be classified as products obtained from plants, animal, microbial source and are restricted to them only. Products obtained from the plants like quercetin, pectin, cellulose, lycopene. Products obtained from the animals includes choline, lecithin and spingolipids. Product obtained from the microbial source includes streptococcus species. Second, on the basis of their pharmacological effects, nutraceutical can also be classified depending upon its therapeutic uses. For example, cardiac disease, used herbs are garlic and vinica, immunomodulator like ginseng, arthritic support like glucosamine, diabetic support like garlic and mamordica, anti-inflammatory like curcumin and capsaicin. Third, on the basis of their chemical nature. 
pharmacological activity of any food or nutrient prepared from herbs depend upon chemical constituent present in their composition. It is classified as follows. First, inorganic mineral supplements. Second, vitamin supplement. Third, digestive supplement. Fourth, probiotics. Fifth, prebiotics. Sixth, dietary fibers. Seven, antioxidants and phytochemicals. We will study in detail about each one by one. First, inorganic mineral supplements. Inorganic elements play a vital role in the various physiological and biochemical function of human body. Most of these minerals are provided through the diet, but their deficiencies in diet may develop variety of health related problem and disease. For example, calcium it is used for the treatment of decalcification of bone, magnesium it controls various enzymatic process and critical in the proper use and maintenance of calcium, manganese controls many enzymatic reaction and necessary for proper bone and cartilage formation. Phosphorus helps in bone formation. Boron is helpful in supporting the calcium and estrogen level in postmenopausal in women. Zinc supports all antioxidant system by scavenging free radicals. Next, vitamin supplements. Vitamins are the complex substances of organic origin, which in small quantities are necessary for maintenance of human and animal life. Sources and function of some important vitamins are as follows. Vitamin A, it is abundantly found in fish, liver oil, livers, papaya. It provides antioxidants and maintains healthy skin, vision and mucous membrane. Vitamin D, it founds in wheat germ oil, egg yolk, milk, butter. It is essential for the formation of bones and also helps the body to absorb and use calcium. Vitamin E, it is found in wheat germ oil, cottonseed oil and peanut oil. It provides antioxidant effect, boost the immune system, helps to form blood cells and nerve tissue. Vitamin K, it is found in cabbage, cauliflower, tomatoes and essential for blood clotting. Vitamin B1, it is found in cereals and pulses. It is essential in neurological disease. Vitamin B2, it found in nuts and yeast. It helps in energy production. Vitamin B3, it is also known as pantothenic acid found in livers, meats, yeast. It helps to convert food into energy and maintain proper brain functioning. Folic acid found in abundant amount in green vegetables, it helps in RBC formation. Nicotinic acid, it is also known as vitamin B5, it is found in yeast, egg, milk, it requires for various nervous system functions. Pyridoxine, also known as vitamin B6, it is found in banana, tomato, juice and also helps to produce essential protein and converts protein into energy. Next, last one that is biotin, it is also known as vitamin H. It is found in Swiss charts, requires for various metabolic functions. Next constituent that is digestive enzyme. Digestive enzymes are derived from plant as well as from animals. They help in the digestion and absorption of food material. Most of the refluxes 
is not caused by increased production of acid in the stomach, but arises due to the poor digestion. Papain, it is a digestive enzyme derived from papaya fruit that is Carica papaya belongs to family Caricaceae, act as a proteolytic enzyme and also used as an anti-inflammatory agent. Bromelain, it is derived from stems and fruits of pineapple that is ananas comosus belong to family bromeliaceae is used for the treatment of tissue inflammation and edema. Some other important digestive enzymes of animal origin are pepsin and trypsin. Next prebiotics, prebiotics are food component that escape digestion by the normal human digestive enzymes and reaches to the colon in intact form after passage through the stomach and small intestine where they selectively promote the growth of probiotics. Inulin is the best known probiotics and also approved by FDA. It is a soluble dietary fiber and resists to digestive enzyme. It reaches to the colon in intact form where it is fermented by resident bacteria. Next probiotics, probiotics are the living microorganism which when ingested with or without food improve the intestinal microbial balance and consequently the health and functioning of large intestine. Probiotics includes bifidobacterium and lactobacillus species. The major source of the probiotics are cultured dairy products such as natural cheese, yogurt and curd. Probiotics only have a transient effect and regular daily intake is needed to bring out health benefits. Nowadays, probiotics are gaining importance against Helicobacter pyroli infection, irritable bowel disease syndrome, pancreatitis, antibiotic induced diarrhea, colon cancer and Crohn disease. Some important probiotics are Lactobacillus acidophilus which is commonly found in curd used in diet. It enhances the immune system and also reduces the incidence of vaginal infection. Pepidobacterium and Streptococcus thermophilus both found in yogurt used to treat diarrhea and rotavirus infection. Next is dietary fibers. Fibers are non-digestible polysaccharides commonly found in fruits, vegetables, grains and legumes. Dietary fibers plays critical role in keeping good health in human individual and animals. They are of two types, water soluble dietary fibers and water insoluble dietary fibers. Water soluble fibers get dissolved in water and forms a gel that binds the stool, slows down the absorption of glucose as well as reduces blood cholesterol level which in turn reduces the risk of heart attack. They are commonly found in oats, dried beans, legumes, apples, strawberries and vegetables. While water insoluble fibers absorb water to certain extent and mainly contribute to bulkening of stool and allows quick passes of water through the alimentary canal. They are commonly found in cereals, wheat products, brown rice, carrot and vegetable with the peels. Recommended dose for the fibers for the adult is 30 gram per day while for the children is age of child plus 5 gram per day. Next antioxidants, antioxidants are the compound which retard or prevent the oxidation of compounds either by preventing the formation of reactive oxygen species or trap them that is scavenging of thereby general prolongs the life by inhibiting lipid peroxidation 
or DNA damage. Our body protects themselves against these free radicals by using natural antioxidant enzyme such as superoxide dismutase, glutathione peroxidase, catalase and the reducing agents such as glutathione, ascorbate and iron. Free radical and reactive oxygen species are also known to be involved in the etiological sequence of disease like inflammation, hepatic disorder, arthritis, cancer and aging process. Antioxidant nutraceuticals are those which contain vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, polyphenols and beta carotene which are present in some fixed oils, fruits, vegetables and fishes. Role of potent antioxidant in disease prevention or treatment are as follows. Polyphenolic compounds like quercetin, rutin, gallic acid. Sod potent antioxidant effect by scavenging free radicals or by metal chelation. They reduces oxidation of low density lipids, cholesterol and found clinically useful in inflammation, liver damage, cancer, etc. Vitamin E found clinically useful in cardiac damage. It act by decreasing the susceptibility of low density lipid for oxidation and reduces the role of platelets in thrombus formation. Vitamin is commonly found in corn oil, wheat germ oil, etc. Vitamin C commonly found in citrus fruit, amla, myrobalan and is clinically useful to scavenge of superoxide free radicals. Next phytochemicals. Secondary metabolites present in plants possess a specific role against particular type of disease. The phytochemical works by the following way. First they act as ligand that agonize or antagonize cell surface or intracellular receptor. They act as scavenger of reactive or toxic chemicals. They might act as a substrate or cofactor for biochemical or enzymatic reaction. They act as inhibitor of enzymatic reaction, act as adsorbent that bind to eliminate undesirable constituent in the intestine, act as enhance the absorption and or stability of essential nutrients, act as selective growth factor for beneficial bacteria, act as fermentable substrate for beneficial bacteria. Role of some potent phytochemicals in disease management has been given below. First carotenoids, they are also known as isoprenoid compound. Carotin, its antioxidant action boosts activity of natural killer immune cell and gives cornea protection against UV light. Lutolin, it protects the eyes against the development of age related muscular degeneration, cataracts and colon cancer. Lycopene, it is a powerful antioxidant, protects against formation of cancer of prostate, bladder, cervical and leukemia. It is also reduces cholesterol level. Second, polyphenolic compound like flavonoids, they act as antioxidant, counteract the free radicals by scavenging of or formation of chelates with them. Anthocyanins, they act as antioxidant, contract inflammation in the body and lowers blood sugar level in the diabetic person. Curcumin, it provides strong anti-inflammatory antioxidant and effective anti-clotting effect. Next phenolic acids, they reduces oxidation of LDL and cholesterol, reduces formation of cancer. Third phytoestrogen that is isoflavones like genistein, they lowers cholesterol, act as antioxidant 
and effective again prostate, breast, bowel and other cancers. Lignans, they inhibit the development of breast and colon cancer. Next, fatty acids like omega 3 fatty acid, it is polyunsaturated free fatty acid act as potent controllers of inflammatory process and maintenance of brain function reduces cholesterol deposition. Monounsaturated fatty acids, they reduces risk of coronary heart disease. Module 5, herbs commonly used in nutraceuticals. Nutritional therapy is a healing system using dietary therapeutics or nutraceutical as a complementary therapy. This therapy is based on the beliefs that foods cannot only be source of nutrient and energy, but could also provide medicinal benefits. List of herbs along with their biological source, active constituent and health benefits are given as follows. Garlic, it is commonly used as a spice. It is a dried bulbs of allium sativum belong to the family Liliaceae. It contain aline and allicin as an active constituent. It provides anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, anti-gout and nervine tonic effect. Ginger, these are dried rhizomes of gingiber officinalis belong to family gingiberaceae. They contain gingiberin and gingerols. It stimulates the CNS and produces chronic bronchitis, hyperglycemia and throat effects. Ginseng, these are the dried roots of Panax ginseng belong to the family Araliaceae. It contains ginsenocytes and panaxocyte. They stimulate immune and nervous system and adaptogenic properties. Licorice, these are the dried roots of Glyceriza glabra belong to the family Leguminosae. It contains glycerizin and liquidin. It produces anti inflammatory, anti allergic, and expectorant effects. Turmeric, these are dried rhizomes of curcuma longa belonging to the family Gingivaraceae. It contains curcumin, which have anti inflammatory, anti arthritic, anti cancer and antiseptic effects. Sanna, these are the dried leaves of Cassia angustifolia belongs to the family Leguminosae. It contains senocytes. It provides potent purgative effect. Bail, these are unripe fruits of Agle marmelos belonging to the family Rutaceae. It contains marmelosin, which is used as digestive, appetizer and in the treatment of diarrhea and dysentery. Brahmi, it contains the entire herb of Centella asiatica belonging to family Umbelliferae. It contains asiaticocytes and medicacocytes. It provides nervine tonic, spasmolytic and anti-anxiety effect. Asafoetida, it contain oleogum resin of Ferula asafoetida belonging to the family Umbelliferae. It contains ferulic acid and umbilic acid. It is used as stimulant, carminative and expectorant. Module 6, Future Prospect of Nutraceuticals. Dietary factors plays an important role in premature chronic disease appearance disease progression, morbidity and mortality. Approximately 40 to 50 percent proportion in cardiovascular disease, 35 to 50 percent proportion in cancer and 20 percent proportion in, in osteoporosis is attributed due to dietary factor. A growing interest in relationship between diet and health has added impetus to the demand for information on nutraceutical. This increased interest 
has been aided by advance in science and technology, increasing health care cost, change in the food law affecting label and product claim and aging population in various countries. Broad segment of Indian pharmaceutical industries included dietary supplements about 40 percent and functional food and beverages market that is about 60 percent. The Indian nutraceutical market valued at US dollar 1480 million in 2011 and is estimated to grow beyond US dollar 2731 million in future. Nutraceutical is playing important role in the development of future therapeutics, but it depends on control of purity, efficacy and safety. Example of some nutraceutical marketing in India are Revital. It is used as daily health supplement. It contains ginseng, vitamins and minerals which is manufactured by Renvaxi Private Limited India. Calcicerol D3. It is a calcium supplement. It is used as calcium and vitamin supplements manufactured by Cadilla Healthcare Limited India. Global, it is used as beauty drinks. It contain antioxidants, vitamins and botanicals and fruit extract which is prepared by Nestle Pharma. Next protein X which is contain pre-digested protein, vitamins, minerals and carbohydrate which is manufactured by Pfizer Limited India. Summary, herbal nutraceutical is a powerful instrument in maintaining health and act against acute and chronic disease. Health professionals, nutritionist and regulatory toxicologist should strategically work together to plan appropriate regulation to provide the ultimate health and therapeutic benefits to mankind. The movement from treatment to prevention stimulates demands for nutraceutical as they offer additional health benefits beyond basic nutrition. We can say that a nutraceutical a day may keep doctors away. With all these information, here we comes to end today's lecture. Do keep in mind what we discussed today. Time for your self study. This is Anuj sign off. I will be back with one more lecture in another series. If you want to learn more and enhance your knowledge, you may log on to our website for MCQ quiz LORs that is www.cec.nic.in. Till then, keep studying. Goodbye. Thank you. Question 1. Define nutraceuticals. Nutraceuticals are the product derived from food or part of a food that are purport to provide extra health benefits in addition to basic nutritional value found in foods. Depending upon jurisdiction, products may claim to prevent chronic disease, improve health, delay the aging process or support the structure or function of body. The term nutraceutical is applied to the product that ranges from isolated nutrients, dietary supplements and herbal products, specific diet and processed foods such as cereals, soups and beverages. Question 2. Define prebiotics. Prebiotics are food component that escape digestion by normal human digestive enzyme and reaches the colon after passage through the stomach and small intestine, where they selectively promote the growth of probiotics. Inulin is the best known prebiotics and also approved by FDA. 